darlings, I hope you're all all right and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. I want to have a little ramble today about a live stream um, that Foodie Beauty did some days ago. Um, there's a lot gone on since then uh, because she put so much content here on YouTube. But this particular live stream I wanted to concentrate on. It's the one about um, something to do with watch me clean my dirty room or something like that. And the specific point that I wanted to make concerns her cats. Now, as you know, I'm a great animal lover myself. I've got three cats. We lost uh, our fourth cat earlier on this year, Mr. Pickles. He was 16 years old and he was, well, he was one of the great loves of my life, you know. And animals are very dear to my heart. In fact, to be honest, I think I prefer animals to people. You know, I really do. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out there in this world who feel the same way as me. I've had cats all of my life since I was a very little girl. Well over 40 years worth of experience in, with looking after cats. And I know there was a little bit of a to-do. And she touched on it. Um, like I said in this live stream, I think it's about from four days ago, something like that. Today's um, uh, today's Friday, Friday the 22nd. So it's about four days on uh, ago, uh, early on in the week that she, she spoke about it. And um, I've been simmering ever since. And this is the first chance I've had to sit down and make a video about it. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little bit of a ramble. Now, she um, the, apparently there'd been um, a photo, a screenshot. From, I think it was a live stream that Pete's did on his channel. And it'd been circulating around Twitter and that. And she made comment about it and she said that she'd seen it. And she then started on um yabba who is um her channel's called youtube underground really good channel um and apparently uh yabba had commented on this screenshot and read pete's for filth you know well it was quite literally for filth and uh she railed at yabba um for somebody that um doesn't body shame or face shame or shame in any which way, shape or form. She decided to, the irony of her deciding to call uh, Yabba, now let me get this right because I want to give it its full effect, a hillbilly cabbage patch doll. Now, like I say, the irony wasn't lost on me. You know, somebody that um, rails on about how everyone's mean and horrible and abusive and bullying her on social media she then f feels quite a, a happy to then harass bully and be rude to somebody else but you know she also of course dragged uh <laughs> charlie gold into it she very often when she's having a little rant she'll drag charlie gold in i think charlie gold is her nemesis for some reason um foodie beauty really has got it you know the bit between the teeth when it comes to charlie um she railed on about charlie gold and what a rotter she apparently is um as well as yaba uh she also made mention of shannon and what a rotter she was um she went through her usual uh gamut of um victimhoods you know she's been mentally healthed shamed if that's a phrase uh, people are bullying her people are fat shaming her people are dirty shaming her now that's the new one dirty shaming and she you know doing a, a usual i feel you should feel sorry for me i'm bullied and harassed from every angle it's not my fault i'm the victim basically putting herself into the position as per usual of victimhood then she went on to talk about the cats because what Yabba had done apparently is she'd called uh, Pete's a dirty fuck for allowing his uh, cat and I think it's 
his cat's called Timbit. I think that's right. Um, this poor cat, it's, it's a senior cat. And it has, um, I think it's, um, it's, you know, the cat version of HIV, positive. And it can't mingle with Chantal's cat. So it's basically confined to his bedroom. And I personally think that Yabba was absolutely right in what she said. He is a dirty fuck. I mean, you can't get more succinct than that. That encapsulates him perfectly for allowing that cat, going by the picture, the screenshot of a live stream that he put out, if he's allowing that cat to live like that, he is a dirty fuck. I'm sorry, he is. And Yabba was quite within her rights to call him that. Because after all, it is her opinion. And she is a reaction channel. That's what she does. She reacts to things that other people put onto social media. If Pete didn't want to hear people's opinions about how he um, looks after his cat's hygiene and living conditions, he shouldn't have done a tour of his room. It's quite simple. People react to what you put out there. Just like with me, somebody somewhere is going to react to this video. And they might like it, they might loathe it, they might write a positive comment or they might write a negative comment. I've done that to myself because I have made this video, have I not, voiced my opinion and put it out into social media. That's the contract you make when you start making videos. So anyway, she railed on about what a rotter Yabba was. And I think what blew my mind was this woman she did not get the fact that people don't care about how she and Pete want to live. I mean, I think it's disgusting. Not bathing, not showering, not brushing your teeth, not having a haircut, shaving in Pete's case. I think it's disgusting not regularly bathing every day and looking after your personal hygiene. You know, I mean... I understand we all have our ups and downs and there are days when we don't feel like it and there are days when we're low in ourselves but you've got to take care of your personal hygiene and your home, whatever your home is, whether it be a 10 bedroom mansion like Jeffree Star or whether it be, you know, a one bedroom flat, a studio flat, your home is your castle. And you should keep your home clean. Now, if you don't want to do that, absolutely it is your personal right and you get on with it. You want to live in squalor? Fine. You want to live in filth? Absolutely fine. Hoard away. Live with black mould on your walls, um, food littered everywhere, germs, flies. It don't bother me. The thing that she seemed to miss was... It's her choice to do that. It's not those cats' choice. Now, if you know anything about cats, and like I say, I've had them for over 40 years, they are cleaner than human beings. They are so immaculate within themselves that it stresses them out if they are around dirt or mess. I mean, if you've ever stroked a cat, when I give my, my one cat, my black and white one, Domino, he's a love bug. He loves kisses and cuddles. And he's, whenever I'm sat down, on the, whether it be on the sofa or lying in bed, he's on me. He loves to fuss. But I've noticed when I've stopped fussing him, he will then clean himself down. It's as if he can't bear to have my scent on him. They're fastidious. They are very very clean animals and that's probably reason why I love having them as pets because I find that you know except for their fur which they can't help they're very clean around the house so for a cat to be in the position of living in that filth that mess it causes them stress it causes them anxiety Perhaps that's the reason why the one cat that she's got is always crying. 
and trying to get attention from her. Perhaps it's anxiety because of its living conditions. She's hurting her cats. Now she can, I'm sure she cares for them. I'm sure she does. I'm sure she loves them. But there are people in this world who do love their pets. But they still shouldn't have them because they're lazy and they don't want to uphold their side of the bargain. The contract of having a pet is that you clean up after them and make sure that they're living in a lovely clean home and have everything provided for them. That's part of the contract because they can't do it for themselves. You know, cats are very intelligent creatures. They're very spiritual creatures. But I've yet to see a cat be able to work a washing up brush. They can't stand there at the sink washing up their own cat bowls. They can't clean out their own litter tray. They can't wash their bed. They can't hoover up after themselves. They need a human being to do that for them. And she loves them. She wants to be around them. She likes the comfort that they give, give her. But she doesn't want to uphold her side of the bargain. And that's what people are upset with. They don't give, a, they don't give two oots how you and Pete live. Not really. I mean, yes, we comment about how disgusting it is. But we don't really care. Because it's only you that it's you that's living in it, not us. But we care about those animals, we care about those cats, because it's not their fault and they can't help it. You know, she wonders why the cats are having um wheeze and poos outside of the litter tray. I'll tell you why it is. It's through stress or illness. It's happened with me. Um Mr. Tinkles, my colour point Persian, I lost him in 2012 to kidney failure. What hit me, what made me realise that there was something wrong with him was the fact that he had a couple of accidents outside of the litter tray. We took him to the vets. They diagnosed he had kidney failure. They tried to save him with some tablets that they gave me, some medication. But it was over. He, he, he was gone about a month later. It's like my, my other cat, Mr Pickles, that I lost earlier this year. He started to have a couple of accidents um, and bless him, he went into the bathroom, you know, and it just shows you how intelligent they are. He didn't do it on the carpet because upstairs is carpeted in my house and downstairs is wooden flooring. And um, he didn't do it on the carpets. He went into the bathroom. I wonder if he knew that it would be cleaner because in the bathroom... It's um, like lino, linoleum, you know, on the floor. Because in a bathroom, you need to be able to wash the floor, don't you? And uh, he did it on the bath mat. It was as if he was trying to do it in the best possible place that he could because he couldn't get to his cat litter tray. And I really thought, you know, crumbs, Mr P's on the way out, the same as Mr Tinkles was. But when I took him to the vet, there was nothing wrong with his kidneys. The, the vet said, it's old age, he's 16, he, he, he gets caught short just like the rest of us. I mean, I'm 48 now and I get caught short and all. Everywhere I go, I have to plan the toilet activities. But um, that's what it was. So I got a large litter tray because sometimes with their eyesight, they're, they're senior cats, they need a, a bigger space to make sure they get their bum in the right direction. I, and I put it on the landing, you know that I don't care I mean some people might think oh putting a litter tray in your landing well you know what he's my baby he's my child and sometimes as unsightly as things are you have to you know you have to make do amend because my cat was too old to make it up and down the stairs to his cat litter tray as soon as I put that cat litter tray down never had another accident until unfortunately we lost him due to stomach cancer he had a big tumour by his stomach you know, it's part of the deal of having pets. You know, they give you love, you give them love back. And you, you, and part of that showing love to them is looking after them and doing things for them. Just like having a child, you know. Children can't change their own nappy. And this is what she doesn't seem to get, you know. And the thing is, we're only going off information that she puts out 
if she didn't want us to know that she doesn't look after her cats right, don't put that information out there. Don't tell all and sundry that your cats are pissing and pooing outside of the litter box. Don't tell people that you've had to trim your cat because he was all matted up because you're too bloody lazy to put a bush brush through him. I mean, to my Mr. Pickles, to the last 12 months or so of his life, he's getting old, he's 16. I had to start get, giving him a helpful brush once a day. Very quick, five minutes, quick brush round because I wanted him to have his old age with dignity, you know? So I had to help start helping him because, of course, he's not so flexible and so bendy, you know, none of us are. She put it out into the world that, you know, her cat was all matted up. We're, everybody's reacting to information. This is what she doesn't get. We react to information that she puts out there. So if you don't want people to know things, don't tell them. If my cats were living in a shithole, <laughs> I mean, if my cats were living in a shithole, I wouldn't put that out in the world. I wouldn't let the world know that I let, allow my cats to live in a shithole, that I don't clean out the litter tray, that I don't wash up their bowls and put fresh food down and have clean mats for their food to go on to and wash out their water bowls and clean their bedding on their, on their beds. I wouldn't put it out there. The thing that really got to her, I think, was the fact that she was being outed for being a lazy bleeder, basically. And she didn't like she doesn't like hearing the truth. If you don't agree with her, then you know, you're a hater, you're a meanie, you're being rotten to me again. It just I, I don't understand how she can't see this for herself. But you know, she did this big thing as well about how she's got to clean up a home, you know, for the um, for the maintenance people coming round to do the uh, smoke alarms, and uh, apparently uh, animal control. Uh, I don't know if that's official governmental association or whether it's like the RSPCA in this country. It's like a charitable organisation, whatever it's. It, whenever, whenever it was called animal control and apparently they were coming round so she was going to be whizzing round and cleaning imagine that, imagine the emb embarrassment I tell you this, I wouldn't tell my best mate that I wouldn't tell my sister, my mother that never mind our all and sundry on the bloody social media oh I've got to clean my house up because I'm a dirty cow and um, I'm worried about what the maintenance people are going to think and um the animal control. And another thing, putting it all on social media, this has just occurred to me. You see, I have these little piffs. She's put it all on social media. And even though she may have deleted some things off her channel, it people screenshot, don't they? And they record, download um, her live stream. So if animal control wanted to, all they've got to do is go onto YouTube, tap in her name, and it's all there where she's saying, I've got to clean up my home because animal control are coming. The landlord, I mean, there's another one I feel sorry for. I mean, I can't imagine. Can you imagine? She's your renter and having it on YouTube and you seeing the way that she treats your property, the way that she treats your home. You'd be beside yourself. I'd, I'd evict her, I would. She'd be out of that house. I'd pressure wash her out. She'd be out of that house like weasel shit off a shovel, I tell you. <laughs> I really would. And she puts all this out on onto social media. And like I say, she can delete as much as she wants. It's still out there because people follow her, react to her, and download things and screenshot it. So it's out there for everyone to see, you know. So, I mean, she's she doing she does herself no favours, does she? She create or every little speck of controversy, problems, scandal, trauma, rants, she creates for herself. And this is just it's just what she doesn't get. And I wish the light bulb would go off in her head, because I tell you what, her life would be so much bloody easier 
she's her own problem and if she was only to catch on to that her life would be a lot easier but yeah i just wanted to have my say about the about her cats because you know i don't blame people for contacting animal control i'm sorry i don't because when i saw that picture from his room i mean christ almighty you can go to poundland and there must be a Dollar Tree or some version of that in Canada. You can go to Poundland and you can buy a mat. They're meant to be doormats, but they're just like a rectangle of uh, carpet for a pound. Once he gets manky, you know, I mean, some of them, some of the little mats they have are washable. You can bung them in the washing machine. And I've got two of them, but they're proper animal food mats. I got them from Pets at Home. But even then, they're only about three or four pounds i had i have one out and one in the cupboard freshly washed to you know go when the other one gets all manky she could but she could just go to dollar tree and get a mat and put those dishes on there i mean my cats have a pile of of, of food bowls like that they have multiples of everything so when something goes a bit ooh, you know even biscuits can go a bit ooh, you know after a couple of hours I pick them up, chuck what's in the bin, chuck what's left in the bin, and then I put them in the washing up, and out comes a fresh bowl. I mean, I, their water bowls, everything is washed at minimum of once a day, if not multiple times, especially in the summer. Their water fountain, I pull it all apart, and I scrub it. I've got a special, I've got a, a bottle brush that I've got in my cupboard that's just for their water fountain. To, you know, to give it a good scrub and get into all the nooks and crannies. If you can hear me washing machine, I'm ever so sorry, but I had to put a load on. Um, you know, bedding as well. You know, you can buy cat beds and dog beds ever so cheap. Cat towel, you know, cat and dog towels and, and blankets and all these things. And you just, just pick them up, put them in the washing machine, have one in the cupboard and one for them using, you know. No animal should live like that. No animal. And I am I feel so bloody sorry for those cats. I really do. It, 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 they must be in such a state all the time. Because like I said earlier, they're, they're so clean. They're so, they're so particular about themselves. It, is, it, it borders on cruelty. I don't care what she says. In fact, I don't care what anyone says. It borders on cruelty mental torture for them cats and um that's all i wanted to say really it's quite a large ramble for just one point but it's just what i wanted to say i wanted to have my say on it because i just can't abide it i just i, I just couldn't believe what i was looking at and it wasn't just for one day i mean she said this is what another piece i forgot to say this um her answer uh, to Yabba was actually that um, she was a piece of shit for calling Pete a dirty fuck when we're going to clean that shit up today. It'd been down for days. Don't try and make out that, oh, it's oh, it's a little bit of a mess. Oh, that must have happened uh, a couple of hours ago. Uh, no, that had been down there for ages. He's walked back and forth, back and forth and walked past that. And just left it. And, you know, they're banging on about depression and all the rest of it. Don't get me wrong. I know that uh, when you're low, when you have to... Look, I've been there, done it and bought the T-shirt. I've had two breakdowns. I know all about depression. But I tell you what, I might have gone lazy with myself when it came to personal hygiene, which can sometimes happen when, when you're depressed. You're not very well. But with my cats, even when I was at my worst in, in 2014... Even at my worst, my pussies, my son, my husband weren't living in a shithole. I used to drag myself and pull myself together because I was lazy with myself, but I was never lazy with the people I love or the animals that I love. And to be quite honest with you, she, she, the, the pair of them bang on about how depressed they are and how pooly they are. But, you know, they don't seem that pooly when they're going out for for dinner or she's back and forth from uh, Nada's like a flipping yo-yo. Uh, he seems to have enough impetus in him 
when it comes to sitting on bloody live stream for God knows how, how long and yappy, yappy, yapping to anybody that will watch him. But that mess was down to pure, unadulterated laziness. And I won't have it said any other way. That was down to laziness. It's nothing to do with a depression. It's pure, unadulterated la laziness. And if you want to be lazy with yourself, like I said before, that's fine. But to inflict it on someone else or another creature, that's cruel. And that's that. I've had me say now. I feel a lot better for getting that out. Anyway, let me know what you think uh, in the comment section below. Um, whether you agree or disagree with me, you know. Take care of yourselves. I love you loads, you know. See you later. Bye.